it's a common theme with this game. Worst in history, worst in history, worst in history. Bravo 6. Going dark. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Going Dark podcast. This is a side mission for y'all. Chop, what do we have in store for the people today? You know what? We got a fun one because uh, last time we recorded ranking every Black Ops game in a tier list and... We've got to do the flip side of that coin and do Modern Warfare because I feel like the Black Ops camp and Modern Warfare camp are, you know, they butt heads a little bit, but yes. also like we, we you know, we, we kind of get it at the same time. Yep. Um, and this will be an interesting one for us to rank because I'm very zombie biased and I think that played a lot into my Black Ops rankings, but that'll be different for me with Modern Warfare. And I'm interested to see where you rank a lot of these um just based on where you fall in the call of duty like community and stuff mm -hmm. yeah i think uh i think you're right i feel like the modern warfare scene or the modern warfare community is kind of kind of not at odds i feel like you very rarely hear somebody that likes both franchises they're always team treyarch or team infinity ward you know so people have a preference they have generally. a preference yes um so anyway let's get right into it cod four we're going back 2007 I'll I'll let you lead us off because I okay. I I also think it's worth mentioning real quick we are ranking not only the classics but oh, yes. the newer Modern Warfare games as well so the entire we thing all. yeah um so for for me Call of Duty Four was I honestly my first like real Call of Duty multiplayer experience I I did play a lot of World at War but Call of Duty Four I, I played significantly more um. I would say like visiting it in retrospect, I don't feel quite as strongly as I did maybe in the day. Um, it's a very simple game and it's also one of the most innovative games at the same time. I mean, it introduced like prestiging, uh, create a class, like the, the Call of Duty staples as it were that are present in the game now yes. were invented and have been iterated on sure in the future, but they were they all uh, started here. In, in COD 4. This what this is what birthed the Call of Duty formula as we know it. Mm -hmm. And while I think the game is quite archaic in some ways, like, you know, you only have three different kill streaks, is like that in, in hindsight isn't as much fun. It's got good maps. Uh, I think the weapons are a bit unbalanced, but fun. It's kind of a janky game, and I love it for that. Uh, but overall, I think I would give COD 4 probably upper B tier. Whoa! That yeah. sounded that sounded like you were going A or S personally. It's a good game, but I it's not my favorite Modern Warfare. Okay. Um well I'm gonna pivot a little bit then. I think that this game was unbelievable. I absolutely loved it. You were kind of saying the simplicity of it might hurt it a little bit. I think when I when COD 4 Remastered came back out and I got to play it again and realized that the game was very simple, but it was still so fun, I went. This is a this is an unbelievable game. Campaign, unbelievable. Unbelievable campaign. Agree. One mm -hmm. of the most iconic missions in gaming history. Not just COD, gaming. In your ghillie suit and you're working around the people and come on, man. Money, multiplayer, just like you said. Everything you can think of came from this game. Camos, lobby leaderboard, uh kill streaks, prestige. prestige. Yeah. Everything you think about with Call of Duty that makes it Call of Duty this game um levels in multiplayer i mean come on now we're still playing some of the ones from this game because they're so good yeah we are um so i just i absolutely love this game i i'm an s tier for this bad boy i'm an s tier totally I, fair man i think i don't think there's very many games out there that can top this bad boy also guns too uh the sniper um m40 m40 mm -hmm. yeah m40 M4 m 40 m a or whatever it is. Um, yep. And then what was the M16? My goodness, the 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 AK, the 74U. 74U on that one too? I think, yeah, 74 U's in that game. Man. AK-47 and 74U. I'm oh, sure. man. Just, um, just great. Just fantastic. Yeah. Good um, game, man. Very good game. Very good game. S tier. So that's going to put, so your B, I'm S, it goes to A, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll average it out A tier. Okay. All right. Do uh, you want to lead with MW2? Yeah, MW2. So this is a weird one for me. Um, I did. I really, really like this game. Let me just get that out of the way. I think it's a really fun game, unique game, brought a lot to the franchise. But 
I don't know why it, it does not get S tier for me. I, I would probably be A. Um, I thought the campaign was really good. Obviously, I the Spec Ops was a, a nice addition, something new. The multiplayer, I don't know what it was about the multiplayer. I enjoyed it, but I did like trolley stuff. I did um, knifing with, uh, what's the thing where you can knife crazy far? Commando, Commando Pro. Commando Pro. So I, I was doing stuff like that. The only thing that why I I say A is because I'm telling you, if this game came out today, people would rip this thing apart. It would be a totally different game than what we experienced back in the day, because mm -hmm. it would be oh this this does this and that does this and this. nerf. It. It's like so we we think about all these crazy things that you could do in MW two, but you can't do those anymore because the devs just nerf them because everybody cries. So sure. That would be my only callback would be like it. There were some annoying things in the game that never got touched because of the issues with the devs. And I think that drops it down a level for me. That's totally fair. I'm actually surprised to hear you say that. Um, I feel like what you just said right there, that's a lot of my issues with COD four. Like mm. I, you know, stuff with like stopping power and juggernaut and stuff. like. I'm like, come on, you know, yeah. everybody uses those and that, that felt a little like unbalanced, but I, I, I I hear your point. For me, MW2, um, I'm just gonna say it flat out, is going to be S tier because the the thing that I got out of this game was it was the Call of Duty 4 formula, but with like crack injected into Michael it. Michael Bay. Like yeah, yeah. It it was like they know the game is over the top and silly and and it's crazy and it's just like goofy, chaotic, fun. Uh, and they doubled down on that. I mean yes. the ability to now choose your own kill streaks. Um I think that in and of itself was a great innovation for the series, but the MW2 streaks are just some of the most iconic in the entire franchise for good reason. Uh the introduction of the nuke, you know, you can you, you can now like select your your pavlo, your stealth bomber, your chopper gunner and so on. Um obviously the streak system was kind of busted in there because you could streak into other streaks. Um not great and then of course yeah the multiplayer did have poor balancing with one man army new tubes commando pro and so on has problems too incredibly fun again it has like crack injected and <laughs> spec ops was a nice uh innovation to the series as well fantastic campaign i would give modern warfare 2 s tier easy. okay okay um so that's gonna go back to an a so i was or that'll be that'd be like what high a tier that, that's the number one right now that's an a plus yeah um mw3 hit it off all right, I'll start with this one. Um, so I think MW3 is a bit of a compromised vision. I think it's the game that had to cut the most corners. And clearly, so if you know, uh, I'm sure a lot of people listening know vaguely behind the scenes of what happened. Infinity Ward needed to bring in Sledgehammer to help them finish the game. There's a bunch of like legal battles and stuff going on. Uh, and the original masterminds behind the Modern Warfare 1 and 2, or COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2, uh, really did not make MW3. Kind of, but not really. Um, and so I think they sort of had to pick up the pieces, and it doesn't really feel like an Infinity Ward Modern Warfare game to me. I think the campaign is incredibly mid. Uh, my least favorite in the classic trilogy. Uh, the multiplayer is theoretically way more balanced than MW2, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I find it less fun than MW2. It's much better balanced. I'll give you that. It's a better game experience, but it's I find it way less fun than MW2, just like viscerally. Uh, and then as far as like Spec Ops goes and Survival, I love it in MW3. Probably some of the best stuff we've ever had. Like Survival, favorite game mode in there. Yeah. Um, I think they did the best in Modern Warfare 3. So I think with a mediocre campaign, a lackluster multiplayer that is still fun but not quite as mw2 fun and a pretty good spec ops i would put it at a i think i would rank it slightly above cod 4 but still b tier okay so you have mw3 above cod 4 yeah i think a lot of people would i think a lot of people will agree with you they're not going to agree with my opinion on this one but i you use the word mid and i just think that summarizes this game completely and I know a lot of you guys watching this video, listen, I'm sorry, but I totally agree. Campaign, I hate to say this, but I, it was very forgettable for me. 
It was very forgettable mm-hmm. for me. I'm sorry. It was after COD fours and MW twos. It was like that one where you were waiting for like that that top, the 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 final the pinnacle. The pinnacle. Everything. I didn't mean to cut you off, but everything in the campaign is filler up until when you kill Makarov. Yes. Everything is filler. That's why you don't remember it. Yep. I literally and when, don't. And when dies, but everything else is filler. So that was that. And uh, with me for the multiplayer, I don't know if it's just if it's a if it's me. Um, I don't rem- I, I remember the maps, but they were bland and boring. And I think this was that direction Infinity War started to go. And it, it continued on to ghosts with these maps with no sunlight, no color. Um, and I get that that's kind of the setting of the game. It's kind of like the U S yeah, yeah. you know, gets taken over or whatever it is. And, and the, the wars in our, our territory gray. Yeah. Yeah. But I just feel like, I don't know. It just didn't work for this game. I don't know why. And, um, I just think it was, a um, um, okay experience for multiplayer. I do think the combat was good. I think, like you said, I think they did a good job of making everything balanced, which I do sometimes like. And I really, really did like the face-off playlist. 1v1, 2v2, 3v3. And believe it or not, one of those maps was actually, I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry. But it was very vibrant and colorful. And I remember playing that the most. Um, yeah. It wasn't the one with the boat. It was the other one. It was like kind of like, like... The one with like the grass and like ruins a little yes, bit. Yeah. Yes, and I'm like, man, that is a good map. So I like that they did also, that. Also, not to mention... The, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off again. No, you're good. Um, I'm sorry, um, but not to mention the very like unique streak system they did in multiplayer, I was, where yes. you had yep. the different packages of you can have streaks that don't reset on death, or you can have uh, ones that give you extra perks and stuff like that. Uh, they had a very unique kill streak system. Well, I and I, like you just said, I loved the one. I would rotate. I would be like, you know, sometimes I'm going to try to go for streaks, and then sometimes I'm going to just go help the squad and get that advanced UAV because I was a you know I try to go for kills, high kills, and I would get the one that had the UAV something else maybe a supply drop or something and then 11 was advanced uav and i just would cycle those and it was just the like big light was so they had good. the stealth bomber in the support package though. that's that what was i the, did then that's what i did that, it was so it was advanced yeah. uav uav and stealth bomber and i'm like this is so fun like i just kept cycling them so um i'm not like to and in fact it was very fun like just to, to back you up on that sure. point i won't go into much detail but it was it was great mode um so I'm probably I'm probably like a B minus, honestly. I I don't think I can give that game a C because it, it definitely was a pretty it was a I was a big multiplayer guy, so it was a decent multiplayer. I don't think it was a C though. I think C feel that would be too harsh for me. Um think so? yeah, I think so. I think a B a B minus. Close to a C, but I'm gonna give it a B minus because there was a lot of things that it did well. Um so we'll we'll average that out to a B. Okay. Um, are we including ghosts? I am not including ghosts. Okay. Um, just um, now MW, we game. are going to MW 19, AKA modern warfare reboot. Um, let me start right, off. You want to start us off? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you so, don't want to say about this game. I'll let you go ahead. Well, this game, I actually, this is a very controversial title. I think because of the reboot and by the end of the game, kind of me getting used to the mechanics and everything, I did end up enjoying this game a lot. Uh, in the beginning, I didn't like the, the quick TTK. I will never, ever understand getting rid of Dead Silence as a perk and making it a field upgrade. Terrible move. Doors, terrible. Um, and no red dots on the minimap when people shoot their gun. It's Call of Duty. Penalize people for shooting their gun. If they want to not show up on the radar, that's the purpose of a silencer. Why are there silencers on the on on the guns if we don't have that as part of the thing. So a couple terrible decisions in the multiplayer side that could have made it a better game. I think if they would have fixed those maps, very forgettable, um, but campaign amazing. I'm including Warzone on this as well. Warzone was obviously life changing for me, uh, for the industry, for everything. So I really think that that was a good thing for it. Um, I have the campaign as one of my favorites of all time. I have Warzone, oh. early Warzone as one of my favorite times of all time. The multiplayer for me drags it down a little bit. Um, just on some stupid decisions, man. But the gunplay, the sounds in that game, the operators where they kept it realistic, but also they dove in a little bit of saw and like they didn't go too far out of the way. Like it never felt like you're like, what the heck is that thing? 
um, like they did in MW3. I think they kept it kind of mill simish, but with a little bit of twist, but the crossovers that made sense. So I'm gonna go B B plus, maybe even A minus, but um, I think with those design does des, um the design decisions, it has to drop a little bit. B plus, you going with? I'm going B plus. I have it a a hundred percent above MW3. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. So Modern Warfare 2018, very different perspective for me. Uh, I I'll start with campaign. I think it was. It's certainly the best in the new Modern Warfare era. Yeah. Uh, campaign speaking, one thousand percent. And yeah, clearly Infinity War is leaning into this more hardcore, realistic milsim type game. Uh, multiplayer. I didn't play it that much when it released. I played it a little bit, but honestly, not very much. Uh, and playing it after the fact, when they've you know brought red dots back and everything, it's still not my favorite multiplayer by any means. Um, but I kind of like the way it plays a little bit. I think the the player mechanics are fast and fun, mm -hmm. and it fe and, and it felt n distinctly different playing a game with like at least in this bubble ultra realistic weapons. You know, I I get where kind of fatigued of that at this point but like that was the, that was the first time they really wanted to do like hardcore realism in a way um and while that's not my favorite thing in the world i thought it was interesting uh the wars warzone's obviously great uh early warzone the third mode of like spec ops and survival is trash they made it a playstation exclusive and it was awful and I'm not really going to weigh it that heavily in the ranking, but it will bring it down a little bit for me. I think I kind of fall where you do, though. I am tempted to give it, like, maybe middle B tier. Okay. Honestly, I, I think it's I think that's a where we're both e at. Game. Yeah, I also, think it's healthy B. The uh, gunfight, I forgot to mention that. One of the greatest yeah. additions in, in Call of Duty as a gunfight was big time. Yeah, you're right. So fun so fun and they never and they never dove into it like i wish they would have made it sure. that that other game mode where it's like it's just as it's just as popular as search and destroy i think they had that there they had it ready you know how could they make it a little bit better how could they how could they refine it for the next couple games and not only did they not refine it they didn't even release it. it in the game because why would they yeah. um it's kind of wild so um yeah uh yeah i think i think i'm mid b tier if i'm being charitable i would say high b tier but i'll, I'll just give it b to i keep think b is a solid spot for that thing mm -hmm. um okay all right mw2 i will let you kick this I, one off. I i was just gonna say I'll let you I'm, cook. I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna cook if you've seen my other <laughs> podcasts i don't need to cook this thing shows itself three seconds into playing the game campaign not good Especially after MW19, I was ready for another good campaign. It was terrible. Um, multiplayer, worst multiplayer experience in any Call of Duty history, period. I don't care. Vanguard was better, and I'll, I will scream that from the rooftops. DMZ, not my thing. Think that's something where Call of Duty could take a studio and go, hey, go put out DMZ. As uh, Kind of like how I talked about with Warzone being its own thing. Let DMZ be its own thing and have a studio for it. I don't think that's a Call of Duty core. It doesn't, it's not high speed arcade shooter. That's like loot and hang out and doesn't strike me as a COD thing. Um, but I know D a lot of people like DMZ, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to put that. Ag well, I actually, I am. I'm sorry. I am going to penalize the game because of that, because they built the game around DMZ. Everything operated the backpack system, the movement, the, the party up system, the, Everything was revolved around DMZ. And so if you didn't like DMZ like me, it didn't help very much. Um, Warzone, Warzone 2.0, one of the biggest mistakes in gaming history, not just Call of Duty history, gaming history. And it's a common theme with this game. Worst in history, worst in history, worst in history. And then, you know, why not? Let's, let's, let's put a new main menu system out there. Worst main menu system in the history of Call of Duty and gaming. This game's an F. Wow. Okay, Chop, go wow. ahead. Wow. We said, he said, I'm not going to cook, and then proceeds <laughs> to cook. <laughs> I was trying to keep um, it under 30 seconds. It no, didn't no, work. you're good, man. You're good. We had, no, that was perfect. Um, So, I don't know if I hate it quite as strongly as you do. I think I'm just more indifferent to it. But I agree, campaign, uh, I, I'm not going to say worst, because we'll get to that, but very bad. Very, 
very below average campaign, unfortunately. Multiplayer, I just felt a little bit, again, indifferent to. It's not very good. I didn't have that much fun with it. I appreciated them wanting to do uh, a further innovation on like their gunsmith system, doing like attachment tuning and all that. Again, while I thought it was a little bit extra for Call of Duty, I thought it was like cool that they were trying that. Um, but again, I, I don't love the multiplayer either on this game. I think it's um not what Call of Duty ever felt like, and they're making it something that it isn't. Not my not my favorite. DMZ, I don't really have an opinion because I've never really played it. It's not interesting to me. I yeah. played it like once or twice. Not my thing. Warzone 2, I played a little more and I hated. Um, and Spec Ops and other stuff is just boring. Yeah. <laughs> so I am going to give mw2 high d tier if i'm being very charitable low c tier but i'm gonna go with d keep it simple okay so i'm an f minus you're a d what d are you though because that middle d tier okay so we'll make it a d minus yeah d minus um and then finish us off mw3 all right modern warfare 3 our final game in the what is the current new era of modern warfare series um I unfortunately have to give this one the title of worst campaign ever. Originally, that was Vanguard for me, but MW3 now takes the cake. Again, not totally their fault because it's complicated. I know why it's bad, Yeah, but it's regardless, it is bad. Not a good campaign. Um, it's rough. So that is going to weigh, that's going to kill its batting average a lot. Multiplayer, surprisingly, I, not even surprisingly, it's just really fun. I am surprisingly refreshed by it. I think Sledgehammer did a lot of, or they made a lot of good choices, um, and the maps are all excellent. Yep. For the most part, you know, we have classics from MW2 2009, and then new ones. Uh, but I just think it's an overall actually enjoyable Call of Duty experience for once, for multiplayer. I, I very much enjoyed it. Uh, and Zombies is conflicting, because it's not really the round based formula we've we've loved. Um, it's okay in its own right. It can be fun, and I think there are a lot of good things to come out of it. It was better than I was expecting. Um, and so, you know, as far as that goes, I would probably put it above Modern Warfare 2019 and MW2. Wow. I think I'm going to put it low A tier. Whoa. A minus probably because we're not we're not counting the campaign against this game correct. Uh, I mean if I'm if I'm weighing the campaign heavily, I am going to drop it down to probably B. Yeah, I was going to say because I think if you have to include campaign, I feel like it has to be in that level down a lot. because yeah, that's it's true. like. But but I also think it's not their fault, so it's like this give and take. So we'll kind of cut them some slack on this, but yeah, campaign I'll give it a B plus. Campaign was. Very, very bad. I mean, I think yeah. I completed that stream in like two hours. It was wild. I'm like, wait a second. That's the final mission. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of force stuff, too. Like they they took out soap because they kind of just felt like they had to. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that kind of stuff is just not not needed. It was it was rushed. And it's, it's unfortunate, too, because that's kind of the last taste in everybody's mouth of the Modern Warfare franchise, because like we talked about, they're probably not going to be doing another one for the foreseeable future. So, yeah. Um, Multiplayer, like you said, kind of sparked a little interest in me. I kind of faded on Warzone because of the fun that I was having on multiplayer. So I'm, I'm, I think it's a great multiplayer. The maps have been fun to go back and revisit MW2 maps. The new ones they brought in have been excellent. I don't think they've dropped one bad map this, this time around with the uh, live service content. Um, zombies, I'm not going to put an opinion out there because I don't, I'm not, I, I'm a casual zombies guy and I knew I wasn't going to play DMZ zombies at all. So, um, I just have just based on rushed and all that stuff. I'm probably like a, a C plus B minus just because of just okay. because of that. You know, sure. I think the game as a whole, if it would have been a finished product, you could have been looking at one of the better CODs. And I think they've they've done a good job of Warzone as well. They've done a good job of tweaking that and making it. Yeah. Fun again. With so, MW3, it is really hard to rank it by the same one. parameters that you would a normal game because yes. it was not really a normal game. It yep. was a, you know, map extension that was supposed to be a premium dlc you know it's like hard it's to a, rank it on the merit tough. of its own game yep. but if they're going to call it mw3 we're going to rank it on the merit as its own game so i'm i'm probably c plus and you're an a you said uh b plus okay so it's a b a b minus b minus yeah yeah that's so that's fair. Um, yeah 
that's the list. So Modern Warfare 2, the new one coming in at D. Uh, our B tier is Modern Warfare 3, the, the new one at the low end. Then Modern Warfare 3, uh, the old one in the middle of B. And then B plus Modern Warfare 19, a.k.a. Reboot. And then our A tier, COD 4. And then the, the, the best of the best, Modern Warfare 2, which... I don't think a lot of people are going to argue us argue with yeah. us on this also, one. Also, I want to mention, sorry for viewers listening. Like you're like, why is Modern Warfare 2 not an S tier? The one I'm looking at doesn't even have a slot for S tier. So I guess move everything up one. Like yeah. MW2 OG is S tier for me, but the one I'm looking at doesn't have S tier for some yeah, reason. So yeah, well, I, a, I, a in this category, A's are highest. Yes, yes. Um, just know MW2 and COD4 are our favorites, and the rest kind of just trickle in below it. <laughs> yeah um, honestly yeah uh yeah but anyway uh that is that another episode down we are this one will be 9.5 so the next episode will be our 10th episode of the going dark podcast which is crazy to think about we've only been doing it one month but we've already pushed out 10 episodes um or almost 10 episodes that is so it, mm -hmm. it, i'm excited to see where this goes thank you all for watching by the way Make sure you leave a like on this video. Comment how we did on the list. See who cooked more. Whose opinion do you agree with? Um, if you're watching from Spotify, leave a review. Apple Music or Apple Podcasts, same thing. Um, Chop, anything else? Um, if you want to tell us why our opinions are wrong, feel free to go to any one of our Call of Duty reviews and tell us why we're wrong. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, make sure to go follow us on Twitter and everything. And we will um, also listen to your suggestions of future yes. topics that you want us to talk about next yes. leave some of those in the comments and we'll check them out and if you get lucky we'll make an episode about it i love it i love it all right y'all thank you very much for watching we will see you in the next one bye-bye bye-bye bravo six going dark <laughs>